Hello from the garden shop. In this video we want to show you how to prepare your area for sowing wildflowers in your garden. So we have here the area that we prepared about four weeks ago and what we did then was we sprayed the area off with a weed killer just to kill off all the vegetation so that we can prepare for sowing our wildflowers. It's important of course to spray off the area so that you can kill off vegetation so that your wildflowers have a better chance of growing and so that you can outcompete uh, grasses or any weeds that you may have had in the area. Uh, grasses would otherwise smother out your wildflowers and you'll have a poor uh, display if you don't spray off the area effectively beforehand. So you can see the area there was sprayed off. Now there's some green patches still there. Ideally that should be sprayed a second time just to ensure all vegetation is killed off. Now to spray your weeds, you can use any sort of a glyphosate based weed killer such as uh, Roundup or in this case Rambo and using a knapsack sprayer such as this knapsack sprayer here is ideal for covering large areas. So that was done four weeks ago. So now we feel as the grass has all died off, we're ready now to prepare the soil itself. So what we do in this case is we forked over all of the soil. We don't want to dig down too deeply here. We went down about four inches in depth over the entire area where we want the wildflowers. And the purpose of that was just so that we could create a seed bed for the wildflowers to grow in. If you dig down too deep, such as using a rotavator, you will uh, upset or uh, activate weeds in the soil that will likely grow again. So it's key not to dig your uh, soil too deep. Uh, once you have uh, forked over your soil, you simply just want to give it a good rake over and create a fine seed bed for yourself. Okay. That's great. Now the next step then is I'll just show you some of our wildflower seeds here. So you can see in our bag here we have a, a 200 gram pack of wildflower seeds. This in this case happens to be the Flora Law mix and uh, in these wildflower mixes they have 70% wildflowers, or sorry 70% chaff and 30% wildflowers and the chaff is really there as a mixing agent just to make sowing of the seeds that bit easier. Uh, a bag of this size would cover approximately 20 to 30 square meters and you would apply at a rate of 6 to 10 grams per square meter. So I'll quickly just show you roughly what 6 to 10 grams would be in my hand. And in terms of wildflowers, that's about 6 to 10 grams, if you can see that there in my hand. Okay. And effectively that would be covered over an area of 1 square meter. So I'll roughly mark that one square meter here. So it's roughly from where the tree is to where I'm standing. And you simply just want to sprinkle the seeds out over that small area. Okay, and that would roughly be stage one in sowing of your wildflowers. Now we just want to give that a light rake over and then a light watering in. And we'll continue this process across the length of the wildflower area. So that's a rough coverage guide on how to sow your wildflowers from the gardenshop.ie.